Look, I know this isn't a lab coat, but it's the closest thing I've got, okay? Hello everyone, you probably already know me, but today I'll be trying to do something different, something a little more educational. Am I qualified to teach? Absolutely not. Will I still try to? Hell yeah, today I'll be teaching chemistry. Now, the topic of today's video is about as important to chemistry as Nirvana was for the punk rock genre. Do I listen to Nirvana? Nope. And I don't know a lot about chemistry either. Anyways, the topic of this video is about the periodic table. Now, have you seen the big posters on the walls of classrooms where there's like a bunch of symbols and squares on it? Yeah, this. I'm talking about that. That is the periodic table. A list of all the elements or pure substances we have found throughout history. Alright, first, let's talk about how to coordinate yourself through this table here. We wouldn't want to end up as lost as those five rich guys beneath the sea, would we? Yeah, I'm going to help that joke. Okay, so we have the table here. The vertical columns, the vertical columns, are called groups. And the horizontal rows, the horizontal rows, are called periods. Okay, this is genuinely important because if you don't memorize this, you will get confused, and you will not pick up what I'm putting down. So make sure to memorize this. Keep a mental note in your head. All right? Horizontal is period. Vertical is group. I am doing the wrong hand motions. Horizontal, 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 I do not have a sense of direction. Uh, horizontal is period. Vertical is group. Remember that now. All right. So what are these weird one and two letter symbols? They are the shortened names of the elements we can find. Hydrogen is, for example, listed here on the table with the letter H. Pretty simple. Over here, we can find helium with the letters H, E. And over here, we can find Stanley's boss with the letter of resignation Stanley handed him as he found the workplace quite unsuitable. John, I quit. But Stanley, why? We treat you well, you're like family to us here. Because you made me waste time doing this stupid cutaway gag. Eh, fair enough. Final play will be given in two days. Alright, come on, Mr. John Muscog. Yay! <laughs> but, be careful, because some elements are listed on the table with their Latin or Greek names. For example, we have here lead, which is written on the table as PB. This is its abbreviated Latin name, which is plumbum. If you want to know all the names of the elements, check out the periodic table song. It's really catchy. I know it's like for students, but that's fitting considering you're watching this. Like all the things in life, we humans love to find patterns and stuff. And this table is no different. But first, I need to explain this. Atoms of elements are made up of three things. Protons, what makes the elements what they are, the identifier. Neutrons, what holds the atom together and electrons, what makes the atom stable, the stabilizer. And some of you really need those electrons considering your lives are as messy as JFK's head, or at least what remains of it. Uh, I'm going to the boiler room of hell for that one, how sheesh. These electrons are placed outside the nucleus, the central part of the atom where the protons and neutrons are in. And the electrons are placed outside of it in rings, kind of like the planet Saturn in a sense. These rings are called shells, and the electrons in the outermost shells are called valence electrons. And if you just take a closer look, you can see that the amount of valence electrons corresponds to the group number that element is in. Beryllium has two valence electrons, and is positioned in the second group from the, from the left. Uh, the, to count the groups, you go from left to right. I'm pretty sure you already knew that. And over here, we have carbon, one of the most naturally, uh, sorry, one of the most commonly occurring natural elements. Carbon has four valence electrons and is placed in the fourth group. But technically, carbon is in the 14th group. You forgot about the transition metals. They're there too. They're elements as well. Yes, yes they are. Transition metals are important things too. But, but here's the funny thing though. They don't adhere to these rules. And as such, they don't exist to us. So you, you better start adhering to my rules. And don't interrupt me. Or else you're not gonna exist as well.
Ooh, I feel so edgy doing this. <laughs> yeah. Po po. You hear that, Johnny? You're dead now. You're dead. Uh, Alright, just to be clear here, the transition metals are important and very much do exist. But we're just gonna save that for later because this part of IGCSE doesn't teach them yet. So, pretend they don't exist. Anyways, what about the periods? The... <laughs> that does not sound right. The, uh, the elements of each period uh, all have a pattern too, alright? It's uh, simple, really. The amount of shells an atom of an element has corresponds to the period it's in. Now, here is the not-so-simple part. The first shell can hold two electrons. The second shell can hold a maximum of 18. And the third shell can hold a maximum of 32 electrons. And this goes on for the next couple of shells. Think of it as your average Latin American prison system. Actually, maybe never mind. I don't need to curse Brazil. That place is already hell to begin with. Now, we can actually separate the elements on the table into uh, some more categories. Metals and non-metals. Metals are... And non-metals are... What? I don't think I need to explain what metals and non-metals are. I'm pretty sure you already know. Right, is there anything else? Nope, I think that's it really. I'm, I'm doing this for a school assignment and uh, we only had to do one chapter. Or at least one, uh, one sub-chapter. So yeah, me doing the bare, bare essential just to get this video out on time. Yes. And uh, I make, uh, as of the time of recording this, the due date is four days away. So I gotta really worry on this. Uh, how do, okay, how do I end this now? Do not worry, my child. I shall help you in ending your video. God? Really? How? How are you gonna help me with- Yep, that seems about right. I did say I was going to hell for those jokes I made earlier. Can't stop addicted to the shit dig. Top top, he says I'm gonna win big. Choose not a life of imitation. Distant cousin to the reservation. The funk, the pistol that you pay for. This punk, the feeling that you stay for. In time, I want to be your best friend. East side love is living on the West End. Not a doubt, but boy, you better come to. Don't die, you know the truth that some do. Go write your message on the pavement. Burn so bright, I wonder what the way meant. Why he is screaming in the jungle. Complete the motion if you stumble. Go ask the dust for any answers. Come back strong with 50 belly dancers. Well, I love the tears I drop to be part of the wave. Can't stop. Ever wonder if it's all for you. The world, I love the trains, I hop to be part of the wave, can't stop, come and tell me if it's time to... Is the camera still recording? Wait, hold on, is the camera still recording?